This video took 11 years to make. And for the first time ever, I want to share it with you because I think it can help someone. This is the story of opportunity. It's the story of how I went from being a village kid to getting into Harvard University in the US. And trust me, this is not a normal story. See, I grew up in the Middle East as a Palestinian Israeli. And if you come from that background, you don't get many opportunities. You're stuck in politics forever. And you live your life here, hoping that one day you can succeed in life. You just need a little bit of help. <sighs> Almost 11 years ago, I got that help. An American woman from Ohio named Martha was invited by my English teacher to come to our classroom and teach us English for one hour. She came as a volunteer every year to villages like mine to teach English. And when she walked through that door, she was the first American I met in my life. Immediately, I fell in love with her and her family. Immediately, I connected with her son and we became email buddies, pen pal buddies. After a few months of email exchanges, one day, Martha invited me to their home in Ohio. She said, hey, we know you like America. Why don't you come and visit us for one month and we will take care of all your expenses. This was the first opportunity in my life to go and explore the United States. I jumped on that opportunity. One month later, I was on a plane from my village to another village called Dayton, Ohio. For one month, a Jewish American family hosted a Muslim Arab kid in their home. The Jacobs. We are the Jacobs of Dayton, Ohio. I became part of their family and fell in love with their culture. Um, it was exciting for you. You were curious and open. You stayed here at the house with our four sons. Uh -huh. um, you stayed down in the basement. You were kind of excited and curious about everything. And one day, Martha gave me another opportunity. She said I should go and visit Harvard. I didn't know what Harvard was. I thought it was a place that only smart people go. So I had nothing to do with it. I am not smart enough. She didn't listen to me. She flew me from Ohio to Boston to go meet her son Eli, who's a student at Harvard. You. Why did you send me there? Because I thought you were really smart and I thought it'd be interesting for you to see it. I didn't know that you'd end up going there. <laughs> but, I, but I thought you could apply there. I thought you were per perfectly capable of applying there and possibly getting in. And when I landed on campus as a tourist, my world changed. People were not as smart as we think. They were normal people like you and me. And that inspired me. I flew back home immediately and bought many books. I improved my English. Salmon, 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 salmon. I learned about Harvard admission. I studied and studied and studied. And a few months later, I applied. And to my surprise, Harvard said yes. And gave me a full scholarship to study there. This made me the first Harvard College student to enter from my village. And exactly one year after my visit, I flew to Boston again. But this time, not as a tourist, but as a Harvard student. I made friends, I learned a lot, and I graduated. With a Harvard degree, I went to New York, got a really good job, and made money. And then I started NAS Daily. I traveled the world, created videos, connected with millions of people, published a book, and started a real company. This video isn't about me. It's about opportunity. The village kid in me needed opportunity. I needed someone to open the door just a little bit to show me the light. 
and I'm so lucky that someone did that for me. My parents gave me opportunity to be free and explore what I like. My English teacher, Jamal Asadi, gave me opportunity and invited Martha to come to our English class. And Martha's family gave me opportunity to grow. Well, you know, well, you know, you give people opportunities and whether or not they take advantage of it or appreciate it, is, it's up to them. I don't know why she cared. I don't know why she hosted me for a month. I don't know why she said I should go to Harvard. I am so glad she did. But I do know this. If you want to change someone's life, you don't need to build skyscrapers or invent machines. You just need to give someone out there an opportunity to succeed. Give them advice, jobs, love, money, support, whatever. Your opportunity can change someone's life forever. Thank you and uh, see you next week. Before you go, one last thing. That video you just saw, I made using this camera and this microphone. But, for the first time ever, I'm ditching my camera and I'm picking up my podcasting equipment. Because yes, I'm starting a podcast. It's called Nas Talks, it's free, and it's only on Spotify. And if you liked that video, I think you're gonna love the podcast. Because I just wanted to make a podcast about things that I would listen to, about topics that I want to listen to. Yes, Nas Talks is 100% honest and raw and deep. And by the way, it's 100% free. So keep your money and give me your ears. Because if you like this video, I think you're going to love this podcast. See you on Spotify.